Men, they make the world go round, baby. Am I right? Woo! I love me some men. What do you mean by that? Men, 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 men. <laughs> For some reason, a lot of men have adopted this ideology, this fallacy, that we are under attack and we must remain strong and vigilant through these dark and trying times. I don't know by who, I don't know by what, but it seems as if it's apocalyptic and inevitable. As society progresses towards more progressive ideals, a particular breed of men have convinced themselves on the fringes of society that masculinity is under attack. So what do they do? do? Well, they look online and spend thousands of dollars on pseudo-intellectual masculine men that they put on a pedestal because they never had a father figure or anyone to put them in their place, and now we have really weird alpha male boot camps. You see, the patriarchy must be preserved. When's the last time you guys really checked in with your inner warrior spirit? I say all this because I was sent a wild video. <laughs> by a channel named Man of War. I'm not talking about the jellyfish. I'm talking about Rafa Kandi, the leader of what we call the Crucible. The Crucible is presumably a bunch of men with probably an identity crisis that therapy could definitely help, but instead they band together, pay thousands of dollars, and get screamed at by some sort of militaristic instructor. Fucking quit, so how the fuck you gonna say you gave y'all? It's basically playing dress up or army like when you were a little kid, except you grew out of it. Well, these guys didn't, and they think that this is actually going to benefit their lives. The whole the purpose of this boot camp is to become mentally sharp and physically strong so that when you go back into, you know, normal society, you have what it takes to take on everyday challenges and more. Perhaps your family life will improve because you're a strong leader. Now you're a reliable husband because you could do a bunch of push-ups and at any moment you know how to take someone down with a knife. I mean, <laughs> there's no other way to describe it. Let's just jump in. The name of this video is called Rite of Passage into a Brotherhood of Warriors by Man of War. <laughs> okay, this is what we're dealing with here. Literally, non-military people training for I don't know what being yelled at by I don't know who. Okay, so we're crawling in mud, we're carrying logs. You can just go and do this. <laughs> Hell yeah. Motivational quotes, baby. Let's go. Here we have a nice establishing shot of quite literally Mother Earth in the galaxy floating through the cosmos with some motivational quotes by the art of war. <laughs> because life is just one big war and we must always be prepared. Am I right? This is going to be a great time, guys. We're going to have a fucking blast here. Are we really? You're not a fucking squad leader, so why the fuck are you standing next to him? Step the fuck back. You're not a squad leader. Yes, sir. Pay attention to detail. <laughs> Bro, you're not a squad leader. Get back in line, you peasant, you little puss boy, you actual peon. You have no authority here. I am your master. Jump through these mental gymnastics with me for a second. This guy paid to be here, to get yelled at by a fake drill sergeant, because this is not the actual army. This is not the Marine Corps. You're not a Navy SEAL. Yo, they have pillowcases on their heads. What if somebody just pulls them over? It's like, uh, why are you kidnapping 15 grown men? You see, officer, they signed up for this. Really? You're getting you're getting paid to do this? Shit, I'm in the wrong business. No, 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 you got it all wrong, officer. You see, this is the crucible reserved for warrior men. We're honing their masculine traits so that they can be integrated back into society to work their nine to five. Look, I'm sorry. I gotta be that guy. I studied film, all right? This documentary, like the pacing, the beats, it's not really doing it for me. We're getting these really quick montages without much context of what's going on or why they're here. It'll come, I'm sure. But as of right now, maybe a little confusing to the viewers at home. Happy birthday. Second of all, <laughs> the frame rate is so choppy. It's supposed to be, you know, slow motion. Looks like I'm watching a PowerPoint presentation of a bunch of hooligans dunking themselves in the river, <laughs> singing happy birthday. Six. Don't you fall on me. 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 Bro, this guy's definitely like a dad or something. This is an older man. Aren't you wise enough to not partake in such dumb activities?
Okay, they have some sort of war banner. I don't know where they're going or what they're doing with it. Maybe they, they're playing capture the flag. Imagine just going for a stroll, you know, a nice nature walk, and you stumble upon these guys. <laughs> what do you do? This just can't be good. You have a bunch of dudes in this really masculine manosphere, and they're instructed to beat the shit out of each other. Like, you know one of them is just gonna snap. Like, this doesn't look like a healthy exercise of whatever sort of demonstration of masculinity this is, to be honest. You also got to appreciate how stereotypical the Crucible is in identifying masculine traits. They're all about war and pushing through the pain. Brotherhood. Warriors. Where's Detroit urban survival training when you need him, man? I'm sure he can give a much better demonstration of how to disarm an assailant with a knife. Pulls the eyes and the head back, breaks the vertical plane at the same time. I think that we teach you at the Man of War Crucible is edge weapons, right? We teach you how to use it, how to deploy it, how to attack specifically areas of the body where you can neutralize an attack immediately. Here's a bright idea. If you really want a taste of this stuff, join the military. Why are they teed up like that? They're just holding that power stance. They about to summon something? What is this? Do you want to quit? No, sir. Do you want to quit? Yes, sir. Do you want to quit? No, sir. What an actual puss boy. This man said, yeah, I want to quit. Then get lost. Quit. No, sir. Oh, no. Somebody's grandpa is out doing the crucible in the woods again. No, sir. Fucking quit. So how the fuck you gonna say you gave your all? Right. Can you live without giving your all? Give your all and then say I fucking quit. But don't quit if you didn't give your fucking all. Yes, sir. It's that fucking simple, man. Yes, sir. Let's get the fucking work. It's just classic demoralization. You know, drill sergeant goes around like, do you want to quit? How about you? Huh? Oh, you do? Well, let's just embarrass you in front of everyone else. And it's sad, it really is sad, that some people seek this out for some sort of approval. Any inkling of validation, man. You see, we men battle many different things, like male pattern baldness. Which is why today's video is sponsored by Keeps. Keeps is a subscription service that helps men keep their hair. They offer clinically proven treatments that are delivered right to your doorstep that help combat the symptoms of hair loss. You don't even have to leave your house. Best of all, Keeps treatments are affordable, usually just half the cost of pharmaceutical prices. All of Keeps treatment plans are personalized and doctor recommended. Plus, with a Keeps subscription, you have one year of unlimited messaging with a doctor to help you along your hair loss recovery journey. This allows you to have access to 24-7 expert support. Most of Keeps customers will notice results in just six months of using Keeps. In addition to clinically proven treatments, Keeps also has an award-winning thickening shampoo and conditioner system. Best of all, Keeps physicians will find the right products and treatments for you with your particular hair condition and hair goals. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, head on over to keeps.com slash filion or just click the link down below. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Filion. And a massive thank you to Keeps for supporting this channel and sponsoring this video. They're literally playing like school ground games. This is kill the carrier or keep away. Whoever has the ball has to run away from everyone else, which tells me the need for play in adulthood, right? You know, as kids, we play all these games. We have a great time. We form these amazing memories. We're just having fun. But as adults, a lot of people forget to play and have fun. So all of these ritualistic, I have to join a crucible in a boot camp in order to have fun is bullshit. And it really is like depressing to watch. It's about the brotherhood, right? It's about developing that connection it's about developing the strength in your mind in your body in your spirit so if you have the ability in your life to step up i'm going to tell you right here right now coming through the man of war crucible something unlike you have ever experienced something unique something very powerful what i see is just a grift to make money. Buddy, half the guys in the back aren't even doing a quarter rep of push-ups. You can't tell me to push through the pain when everyone else is not on the same level. You look to your left, Bobby over here can't even touch his pecs to the ground. Otherwise, his arms are gonna snap. Oh, 
Oh, would you look at that? More push-ups, because push-ups are the key to success as a man. What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> They're just rolling around in the mud with backpacks on. What benefit does this give you? <laughs> Shoulder. Come on, come on. We men pick up big tree, move object, very strong. You are here at your own free will. This is day two. If you can't hack it in day two, I'm going to guarantee you, you're not going to fucking hack it in day three, four, or five. Raise your hand right now. I'm going to give you the opportunity to get the fuck out of here. Seems like it's a full week program. If you can't hack it in day one, if you drop out like a little bitch, there's no shot you're gonna make it in day two, three, four, and five. To go home failed. In mind, in body, and spirit, because I promise you, you will never be able to recover from this. So I wanna know right now, who wants to quit? Actually, excuse me, Mr. Drill Sergeant, I'm not feeling too well. I have a tummy ache. Bang! Just kills him on the spot. It's about forging your warrior spirit, your internal fortitude, your mentality, your physicality, and of course, connecting with your spirituality. My brothers, this is a life-changing experience. Bro, get a hobby. Read a book. Go outside. Touch grass. Form a relationship with a new friend. How about a partner? Go to the gym. Why don't you try hiking? It's about forging mental fortitude. Are they breaching doors? <laughs> Since when are these guys going to ever be in these sort of situations? They're breaching doors as if it's Modern Warfare 2. Oh, did you lay the claymore? We got two bogeys over there. You put any of these dweebs in a real life scenario, they turn the corner, bang! Yeah, we're going out into uh, low, low 30s. It's gonna feel with the freaking humidity out here. Probably like around 23, 22 degrees. 10, 31 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna wake up the men and go out for a swim. Stay together! Stop with your head! Stay together! Here's a grand idea. Sign up for a Tough Mudder or Spartan race. You can do all the obstacles and team building exercises you want with your friends for fun. Leave your souls at the table! What are we screaming about? 34 degree weather. I'm doing a ruck. Could be doing a run a six mile ruck. Bro, I just love tactical men, you know? Guys who dress up in all the tactical gear, ready to go with their Oakleys on. It's the funniest type of dude. <laughs> Jacob, walk the fuck out there and keep on trekking. Follow, don't you fucking let your team down. Okay, suck it up inside. I don't give a shit if you throw up all the way through the fucking event. I don't give a shit. They're not my team. I don't even fucking know these guys. I just want to go home. You're failing your team. Don't think about this, man. Don't think about this, just do it. Are they in Shrek's swamp? What is going on here? Come on, don't second guess yourself. Just walk, dude. Walk, walk through it and go. Come on, come on, get there, let's go. Let's go, it's not that bad, dude. Let's go. It's not that bad, go. Got it, go, go. Just collapses into the mud, boo. You construct intricate rituals which allow you to touch the skin of other men. That's what's going on here. This is a camp for men with all of these walls built up around the fact that they're just playing together. <laughs> like, that's it. They're literally working out together, talking about teamwork, they're each other's boys. Like, it's okay. It's okay, man. I'm sure all of these guys would be like, I'm not gay. No, I'm not gay, dude. No, I'm totally not gay. No shot. That's, that's gross. That's probably the mindset of some of these dudes because we wouldn't be here in the first place if we didn't have to construct these elaborate rituals for these dudes to just play together. That's what's happening. So when we talk about internal fortitude, when we talk about purpose in life, 
It's that energy, right, that's boiling up inside your gut. Without that, no man has value. Listen to me. Here we go with the value of man. Your value of a man is dictated on the strength of your mental fortitude and your physical capabilities. If you have nothing to offer, nothing to bring to the table, then you, sir, have no value. You must be a high value male. That's problematic. That is life changing. And I don't mean it in a positive way. I mean it in a negative way. That means your life is spiraling down, my brother. Spiraling down. As Full Metal Jacket over here is telling you guys, if you don't wake up in the morning with a hard on for life, you don't have that zest, that spice to get you out of bed, every day is just blending together, you actually have some problems, and you should identify them, instead of relying on a crucible to shock you out of it. And you may be saying, Phil, come on, if it helps people, why not? Because it's $6,700, that's why. My brother, the time is now. We need warriors like you. For what? <laughs> what are we doing? Where are we going? And who are we fighting, man? We don't need warriors right now. We don't. <laughs> this man kicks sand on him. Oh. The more rolling around in the mud. Dude, I wish an entire colony of crocodiles were really hungry right now. <laughs> Let's see how much of a warrior spirit you have when a giant fucking crocodile decides he's hungry in these waters. <laughs> Oh, more camp games. Harold over here hasn't played a game of Leapfrog since 1974. Down. Okay, men, now we're all gonna get on our knees and meditate. In fact, mentally masturbate to Marcus Aurelius and stoic philosophers before us to help us get in touch with our warrior spirit. Who are these guys, man? <laughs> look, look at the Fantastic Four over here. So this crucible has been a particularly challenging for him because you have the added element of cold. I think uh, that cold will really wear down on you quickly. Not gonna lie, this dude is looking pretty drippy right now. Are you kidding me? Where can I get a man of war quarter zip like that with a tactical left pocket for my iPhone? Are we under attack right now? What's going on? I heard the Mongolian throat metal, and now, now we're crawling in the sand. Am I watching a Sarah McLaughlin commercial? You too can adopt a warrior spirit man today. It's not gay if we're part of the crucible. Get in here, let's, let's all do a hug. <laughs> I hope you guys realize how satirical I'm being because I'm comfortable with myself and my masculinity and I would have no problem hugging my boys, d displaying any sort of affection to another man. Don't really care. Oh, man. Uh, my my Are they coming right now? <laughs> Love her with all my heart. I can't wait to come home and see you. It's been the rest of my life. The sky is shattered. <laughs> Just mentally fried. I just want to go home. And then my daddy's always going to be there to protect you. I love you, baby. I love you a lot. I love you, Erica. I love you, Roland. And my, my baby, Molly. That'll be here tomorrow. Congratulations. Woo! Yeah, hell yeah, man. God, man, all these dudes signed up for the crucible to be better men for other people. This is really like just depressing because I know this is not the way to go about things. <laughs> Group three, 11 were selected and six graduated. Look at this. <laughs> 
<laughs> They're having a nice banquet dinner. Chief over here is wearing all black, nice and suave. What are we gonna have? Some beer and steak? Just man shit? Whiskey? Bro, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I'm gonna keep it between us, right? My viewers, my people. If this YouTube shit doesn't pan out, I might become a cult leader. May create a boot camp. Might start a workshop for men. It's too easy. It's just way too easy. It's a broken strategy to get rich quick. Oh my God, they get rings. They get graduation rings. They go home to their girlfriends or wives or husbands with trinkets from their journey over the past week. A printed version, a sterling silver ring that says I'm a man of war and a handshake from all the men. What the f- <laughs> Bro, they're knighting them. They have a sword. Oh, did you see that right there? You might have missed it if you're a beta male. You see that power handshake? He slipped the middle finger along the wrist. You know what that does? Gives you more control because you're the alpha male at all times. I'm Erica Blake's wife. Oh my God. They have testimonials with the wives. Men of War Crucible has been very beneficial to my husband. Blake grows in the next weeks and years to come. Hey, honey, can you record a testimonial for my man group? <laughs> Dude, I, I want to fucking join, dude. Menofwarcrucible.com. Let's go. Enter the Men of War Crucible. All men must watch this film. Hit the button below to begin your application. Yes, I am ready. Bro, there are like 500 questions and they ask you, what is your annual income? I wonder why. Probably because they price the program according to how much money you have. <laughs> Holy shit, we got a whale. We got a whale on the other line. This man makes money. How much do we charge him? 30K? Yeah, sounds about right. They even have a question. Do you consider yourself an alpha? Oh, <laughs> uh, you can't make this up. You can't. Are you an honorable man? Yes. I struggle with honor. <laughs> Should I just fill this out? I'm just going to fill this out. How much is this program? 6,700 initial payment. Are we still here? Wow, that was group three. Now there are other groups. I just figured, you know, why don't we jump in in the middle of the action? I don't know about you guys, but I feel like a changed man after watching that short film. My warrior spirit is just itching to engage in combat and protect my family and my wife. <laughs> If you were real men, you would follow me over on Twitter at Third Eye of Truth and hit subscribe. What are, what are we doing here? What, uh, what's going on? You know, we're almost at the end of Q1 and we are stagnant, spinning our wheels in mud. Maybe I have to go to the crucible. That's it.